Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Morris, and I am going to show you in this video how to take notes for your project, okay? You're going to be taking notes on sources that I've given you in the Egyptian kiosk, but this is the first time you're going to be taking notes from the internet and from sources I'm giving you from the internet. So take a look and watch this. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do under Monday which is the 14th, Happy Valentine's Day, is I'm going to go here to Egypt Project Sign Up. And I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to open it, and it's going to open to here. And I'm going to go to the sign up, and I'm going to write my name right here, Kurt Morris. I'm going to write down the topic I want to do, which is Egyptian artists curious about Egyptian artists I like artwork and then I will work with you with some questions or you can come up with your own questions but you have to come up with a what why or how question you need two and they have to start with a what a why or a how so I came up with two I came up with a what question what was the reason the Egyptians did artwork and my second question was how did the artist make their paintings okay this is what I'm looking for. And then the essential question, I don't want you to worry about this yet. I will help you with this. But remember, the essential question is what the overall paper or the Satoma I'm going to write is about. It has to link these two things. So I write, or I wrote, what were the reasons the artists were needed in ancient Egypt? So there are a couple of reasons that I'm going to explain with my two subclaim questions. So subclaim question one, Subclaim question two, and this is my essential question, which is going to be what the whole paper is about. Okay, and notice how these two questions help answer this third question, the essential question. Okay, so I'm going to go to Mr. Morris's kiosk and I'm going to go all the way down here. And I found artists and art. I've got one, two, three websites and two videos. So my first question is, what was the reason Egyptians did artwork? Okay. So let me go back to the kiosk. I'm going to open this Dexter's one. And I'm going to open Mr. Don's, which I actually already did right here. And I'm also going to open up this one as well. And I'm going to look through here. I'm going to read. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read. I'm looking for, remember, I'm looking for what was the reason Egyptians did artwork. That's what I'm looking for. What was the reason? So let's go back here. Okay. The work can be viewed, painting, symbolism. Okay. The following facts are important. All right. This just looks like it's full of facts. Um, I don't really like this source because it's just full of facts. I want more of what were the reasons that artists did their artwork. Let's go here. All right. Ancient Egyptians did not create art simply to create something beautiful, their art was functional. It was beautiful and it had a purpose. Oh, okay. I like this. Let me go to my... Let me go to my Cornell notes. So I'm going to write my name, Kurt Morris, which is right here. I'm going to put my period, which is period one, right here or two or three. My date, I guess my date is the 14th, as I said, the 22nd there. Okay. My topic is artists. Let's make it Egyptian artists. Okay. I'm going to put my essential question here. Remember, my essential question is from my sign up. What were the reasons artists we need in ancient Egypt? What were the reason artists were needed in ancient Egypt? Okay. Now I have to put my first subclaim question right here. So I'm going to go over here. 
First subclaim question. What was the reason Egyptians did artwork? Okay, I'm going to put that right here for my subclaim question. I'm going to highlight the what because it's a what question. Okay, the source I'm using is this one. I like this one from Mr. Don. So I'm going to highlight that and I am going to put that right here because this is my source. So I'm going to put Egypt, Mr. Just cut and paste it right there. Boom. Okay. So first of all, who? Well, we know what we're talking about. We're talking about Egyptians, right? Where? Egypt. This is why I would skip this part. And ancient times. Unless there's a real date. All right, so let's get back to what we found. I like this for the what? I don't know that one. Ancient Egyptians did not create art simply to create something beautiful. Their art was functional. And I'm going to grab the second part too. There's two sentences I like. I like both of these for my what? Copy. I don't have a problem with you taking a few sentences. I'm putting that down right there for my what? Notice how it's not just one sentence. Oh, I don't like that. That's a capital P. There we go. The art was functional and it was beautiful and it had a purpose. Love it. Leaving that. I'm going to go back here. Now I'm looking for why. Artists and craftsmen were considered to have the same type of talent. They were all craftsmen. Egyptian art was concerned mostly with the continuation of life. Oh, okay. That's kind of why my, my why right there. Why did they do art? Because they were concerned with the continuation of the afterlife. I'm going to go here. My why, boom, right there. Notice how I grabbed two sentences here too. Artists and craftsmen were considered to have the same type of talent. They were all craftsmen. Egyptian art was concerned mostly with the continuation of art. Okay. Cool. How? How did they do this? Well, let's see what they got. Egyptian craftsmen created protective amulets, tomb paintings, funeral jars, pottery, nourishment, to hold nourishment. Okay, wow. It looks like all of this can be my how because it explains what it was they made. And this was to protect them in the world and the afterlife. I'm grabbing this whole thing for my how. I'm grabbing the whole thing. Okay. It looks like I kind of used this whole section here. And I'm okay with that. Is there anything down here I can use for my what, my why, or my how? To answer my question, what was the reason Egyptians did artwork? Hmm. Uh, it says they used humor in their sketches. No, they did. They drew pictures of them from the sides. No, this talks about how they lived. Nope, that isn't my questions answered with this information. Okay, it's a what question. So I'm going to go up here. What? Boom. Copy. Paste. Boom. I'm going to go why, because it's a what question. I go what, why, how, copy, paste. And, of course, my how, copy, and paste. Now, I'm not done. i got to make sure I put my reiteration, right? i got to restate the question. What was the reason Egyptians did artwork? I'm going to go down here and say ancient Egyptians did artwork because and I can get rid of this. Because I don't need this part right here. I don't need that blue section to answer my question. 
Ancient Egyptians did artwork because their art was functional. It was beautiful, but it had a purpose. Artists and craftsmen were considered to have the same type of talent. They were all craftsmen. Egyptian art was concerned mostly with the continuation of life. Egyptian, Egyptian craftsmen created protective amulets, tomb paintings, magical enchantments on papyrus, funeral jars, painted pottery to hold nourishment, pottery figures, painted scenes, cartouches, hieroglyphs, ivory grave goods, protective weapons, boats, and barks, and other goods that helped to protect and control and continue life, both in this world and the afterlife. Okay, now that's a lot of information, but I don't know some of these words. So I'm not done. I got to clean this up. I don't know what all this means. I need to get rid of stuff I don't need. So even though I have it up here in my notes, I'm still going to clean it up down here. Artists were considered to have the same type of talent. They were all craftsmen. I don't need this, I don't think. So I'm going to cut this. Egyptian art was concerned mostly with continuation of life. Now, once again, even though I grabbed this up here and put it in my notes, it doesn't mean it's going to make the final cut down here in my summary. I can still cut it, which I did. Egyptian craftsmen collected uh, or created protective amulets, okay, tomb paintings. I know what that is. Magical enchantments. I don't know what that means, so I'm going to cut that. I don't know what a magical enchantment is. And if I don't know what it is, I'm cutting it. Funeral jars, painted pottery to hold nourishment. I don't know what that means, so I'm going to cut this too because I'm not sure what that means. Painted scenes, cartouches. I don't know what a cartouche is. I'm cutting it. Hieroglyphics, ivory grave goods. We learned about that in class. Protective weapons, boats, and barks. I don't know what barks are. And other goods that help to protect and continue life both in this world and the afterlife. So here we go. I took all of these notes... See these notes I took? And of all these notes I took, this is what made the final cut for my summary right here. I reiterated my question right here. That came from up here by restating the subclaim question, which was this. And then this part right here came from my what? Boom. Even though I have this in my what, this is all I needed for my what right here. Because I edited it. Then, even though I grabbed this for my why, because I liked it, it didn't really answer my question. So I cut the first part, and only that made that part. Egyptian uh, art was concerned mostly with the continuation of life. And then, even though I grabbed all of this for my how, this is the only thing to make the cut because I got rid of the stuff I didn't know. But that's okay because right here explains why they did their art. I now have a summary and I'm going to put that into my Satomer and I'll do that later. But I still have one more question to do. Remember, my second question is, how did artists make their paintings? So that means I'm going to go back to the kiosk, and I'm going to go back up here. I really didn't like this page. It's full of facts. I'm looking for how did they do their paintings. All right. Looking, and I'm not going to spend time showing you how to do this, because, well, ooh, I found a part on paintings right here. So I will start looking into this when I go to do my second question. I am not going to do that right now, though, because I have this for my notes. And this will be my first summary that I'm going to put into my Satomer. My second question, of course, will go down below, even though I don't have the rest of it down there. 
And that is how you take notes. If you have any questions, like I have right here, find the what in your source. It's okay to take sentences. It's okay to take a couple sentences for your why. It's okay to take three or four sentences. Just make sure you edit it down so that it answers the question. And does this summary answer this question? Yes, it does. All right. Watch this first. Let me know if you have any questions. All right. See you later.